What's up guys, off to my first job of two. It's gonna be about a four hour day. Should be around 1100 bucks. We're doing some carpet, we're doing some tile, and a little bit of hardwood. Um, so I just wanna clarify something up for um, some of my viewers. Um, this is an entrepreneur channel. This is a channel to teach people that there are options other than going to college for four years to be successful and change your life. Teaching people how to change their life financially. And carpet cleaning just happens to be the tool. See when we get there. What's up YouTube? Tommy here from Green Rhino. I've been documenting my journey on this channel from a part-time hustle as a machinist to operate in a very successful cleaning company. My goal is to show you what I was looking for when I was starting out. Sharing the cleaning solutions I use, the equipment, so I can help others thinking about getting into the cleaning industry. And maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna make that first step. It can change your life like it did me. Don't worry industry, I'm not trying to be the know-it-all carpet cleaning, but I am trying to be an example of what could be. So when you're taping off the transitions, make sure it's taped off all the way down on the tile or else it'll, the solution will seep underneath it. It helps prevent. And then pull that back and do a little detail work at the end. That's the best way. All right, guys. So for the tile, we're going to be using carpet details uh, for the cleaning. As you, we're going to use the uh, spinner here. And... Right here for um, tight areas in the bathroom and stuff. Um, had that for a while. I broke this. first day I used it. Uh, a helper of mine at the time broke the seal around there. <laughs> but I've been using it ever since. Still keep meaning to order another one. But uh, yeah. So and for the hardwood, we're going to be using some squeaky clean. We're actually going to be using some intensive floor treatment first with the multi-wash. Then we're going to go back over it with the um, 175. Right back there. And I go over it with the bonnet and the little shine. Uh, I'm going to try this one out. I've had this one for a while and apparently this cleans and shines. But before I do that, I'm going to go over it with that cotton bonnet. Right. Already pre sprayed the back room and we're gonna get started.
All right, I'm on my phone, guys, today. Uh, I forgot to charge my GoPro, so I think it's footage is a little messed up. I apologize. Anyway, we're gonna be using this with the black brushes. We're gonna go ahead and put some intensive floor clear from basic coatings in here. I'm gonna clean with this first, then I'm gonna go back over it with uh, the 175 and the pad. Actually, I'm gonna go over it with the cotton pad, then I'm gonna go over it with uh, the shiner and see, see what that could do. Real quick, guys, if you're thinking on getting into the carpet cleaning business, I do offer a step-by-step -step course below all my videos in a link. How to start a carpet cleaning business, not only the technical side, but how to get people to call you, the business side. All right, and if you like any of the tools I use, also below all the videos that I post. Back to the video. Um, took off all the residue. Now we're gonna go over and neutralize everything with the PT clean, neutral pH cleaner. Now I'm um, gonna use a cotton pad first, and then I'm gonna do a final quick pass with, with that right there. a wrap but a customer was super super impressed i didn't think it was gonna come out that clean but it did it was just a build up of residue it, it got to a point it was sticky walking across it she showed me a product and was for hardwood floors lucky it didn't have a wax on it but too much residue so i told her to get get rid of that and i recommended some products for her to use from here on out all right that's it for this one see you in the next one